Operators, have you been chosen for a PHA? I'm here to help you get prepared. I'm Susan Frizzell, the president of Adley Services. I'm a licensed engineer and PHA facilitator. I've got a few tips to help you get ready for your next PHA. First, you're going to want to make sure that your drawings are up to date, specifically your PNIDs and your layouts. Make sure that you gather up all of your red lines that you've been making on your PNIDs and get them to your engineer to get them updated. If you've had any recent changes in the facility, walk down those areas and as built the drawings and again get those, get those to the engineer to get updated. Check your layouts to make sure that all of the equipment is current. There's no missing equipment and there's no equipment on there that has been removed. Go through the list of incidents and accidents and regulatory dings over the past five years and make a list of hazards that could have been a lot worse than they were. Next, you're going to want to walk through your facility. Make note of any hazards that you see. This could be the valve stem that you hit your ankle on every time you pass or some insulation that's been missing. You might also find you might also need to check your operating procedures. Are they current and up to date with all of the equipment that's in the field? Are there any operating procedures that aren't written down? Make note of any nuisance alarms that you typically have in your control room. Make note of any process or safety controls that you bypass to keep things online and running. These are all items that we're going to want to talk about during the PHA. Know that during the PHA, your attention is fully required. So you won't be on your radio or calling out into the field. You'll need to get a backup during the PHA meeting. Be come and be prepared to share your information. Know that you are the one with the most intimate knowledge of the facility and that is why your participation is so important. You're also the one that's most directly affected if anything happens to go wrong. I hope this list helps and if you have any further questions, please contact me at susan at adleyservices.com. Thanks for watching our video today. If you found something interesting or want some more information, please contact me. I'm Susan Frizzell, the president of Adley Services. My email is susan at adleyservices.com. That's S-U-S-A-N at A-D-L-E-Y services, plural, dot com. We hope you find the information helpful. And if you have a request for information to be featured on future episodes, leave us a note in the comments below. Don't forget to check out our website and our podcast, which can be found under the blogs tab at www.adleyservices.com. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel below.